All right, ladies and gentlemen, Weekend Modder here with a quick video today that I wanted to walk through a process of creating a NAND image from source files, not from a source NAND image. So this is the functionality within the JRunner program called create an image without NAND dump dot bin. And I have a lot of people ask me when they have oddball little issues. And this is one of the things that I frequently suggest is rebuild your NAND from scratch use a fresh SMC. So this is a high level quick tutorial on how to do that. Quick interjection right here. In the root of your JRunner folder, so in the main JRunner folder of your installation, you very likely already have a copy of this JRunner underscore user guide dot PDF. That JRunner user guide actually contains a section here on page 27, how to create a NAND from CPU key and files. So the, the following video does go over this process, but I wanted to point out that there is documented reference to this already available within the JRunner guide that talks about exactly how to go through this exact same process and even spells out a little bit more in depth this particular files that are necessary here. So I wanted to bring this to your attention. The JRunner user guide PDF on page 27 has a how-to guide uh, that's documented, and that's where I learned this process from. One of the neat things that you can do with JRunner is actually use this option without having selected anything yet, and it will kind of coach you through and help open folders and stuff for you. So if I go ahead and hit this, create an image without nandum.bin, it tells me kv.bin is missing. So, and then it helpfully opens this folder, my XE build data folder, where I have not staged any files yet here. So where do I get these files and what files need to be staged and kind of what am I talking about here, right? So let's imagine we have a console that we've RGH'd and then when it boots, it boots really slow or funky or has some other issue that we want to resolve by rebuilding the NAND. So what we need to do first is load up that NAND of the console, right? So we take its NAND dumped up in and we've RGH'd this console successfully. So we have its CPU key and we need to use the tools extract files functionality. Now what this does, if you see here this extracting, is it breaks down that NAND file to all of its component files, all of the individual little back and forth files here. So what I'll go ahead and do here is copy the CPU key. And what I like to do is actually start JRunner over. I seem to have less issues here. If I actually exit JRunner real quick and then relaunch it, because what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to set this up to generate the NAND image uh, rather than do any extraction. So first thing I need to do is paste in the CPU key of the system that I'm targeting. So the system that I'm building the NAND for, I paste in the CPU key, right? Then I need to stage in the XE build data, the, the KV file, the SMC file, a couple other files here. So what we're gonna do is we created this extracts that last time we ran, right? So here are the KV stuff. Now I know KV needs to be uh, the decrypted version and it needs to be renamed from this underscore DEC version. So you can see that I'm gonna under uh, highlight and remove the underscore DEC for decrypted. And then I'm gonna copy and I'm gonna paste that into my XE build data directory. Now, what else do I need in there? I know I need my SMC config. That's a normal thing to have to paste into there. I know that one for sure. Um, and then I would normally need the SMC underscore DEC. If you don't have any other backup SMC files, this is the one you would use. You would rename that uh, underscore DEC and use this SMC file. I like to do uh, what I call using a clean SMC so if you download my JRunner off of the uh, Weekend Modder JRunner Edition YouTube video, you'll see in the um, in the XE build folder, there is a clean SMC pack here. And in this clean SMC pack, I have a cleaned SMC for each motherboard type. This was a Corona uh, motherboard. So I'm gonna grab the Corona SMC, right? Then I'm gonna go back to my XE build data. I'm gonna paste it in. So I'm pasting in the Corona SMC 
and I'm going to rename it to smc.bin. Uh, no. So actually it, it populated an smc.bin for me. I'm going to delete that one. That was what that error was about. And I'm going to insert my own smc.bin. There we go. Now I think that might be all the files, but I'm not sure. Again, the cool feature about this one is if I'm missing any files, when I go to rebuild this, it'll actually tell me. The other cool thing you need to do before you uh, initiate the attempt is you need to make sure your target XE build settings are set up correctly. So given that this is targeting a Corona, right? I, we know that from what we did. I'm going to go ahead and set that to glitch two. I'm going to check the CR4 box because that's how this particular Corona is glitched using uh, RGH2 uh, and an ACE V3. So we'll go ahead and now hit the advanced create an image without nandump.bin. Oh, here we go. It, it's giving me a clue. FCRT bin is missing. So turns out out of those extracted folders, I needed fcrt.bin as well. All right, here it is finally. Sorry about that. Um, so that clue that it gave me was that I needed this fcrt underscore dec.bin. And again, that dec, the decrypted version, just needs to be removed. So we just have the fcrt.bin. We'll copy that, and then we'll paste that back into the um, XE build data directory where we've been staging all of our other files, right? So now paste. So now we have an fcrt.bin. So now we can try it again. Custom create an image without nandum.bin. CPU key is correct. It actually pops up in the very upper left hand corner, this dialog, which I'm dragging over from my other monitor, this choose LDV. Now here the cool thing is on an SMC hacked console, so like an RGH, JTAG, whatever, the LDV doesn't matter at all. So you can actually just say zero, it's fine. And then it gives you yet another pop-up that says you have to specify your uh, motherboard type, right? So this was a Corona. Um, and then we get all of the build process happening down here. And ultimately what it produces for us here is a UPD flash.bin. So we have now successfully rebuilt a NAND image starting only with the files that made it up, right? All we had technically to start with was the CPU key and the files. Now, in, in theory, there's some ways that you can creatively substitute in a different KV and still use your CPU key. And that's actually how you swap KVs back and forth. But that's not the point of this. This is for reparation. You extract an existing console. You have the component files. You repair by rebuilding a new image uh, using that clean SMC in this process in JRunner. And oftentimes, if you write this to your console, either by hooking up a physical flasher and hitting right NAND, throwing it onto a USB stick and writing it via Zell, whatever the case may be, if you uh, do that, uh, a lot of times it'll resolve oddball issues uh, with glitch consoles. So good luck.